Most shark attacks occur less than 100 feet from the shore, mainly around popular beaches in North America, Australia, and South Africa. The U.S. averages just 19 shark attacks each year and one shark attack fatality every two years. Meanwhile, in the coastal U.S. states alone, lightning strikes and kills more than 37 people each year. So you can relax. Don't be afraid to go into the water. I had a camera mounted to my forehead and that gave you a really good perspective of just how big these sharks were. As you're about to see, not all encounters with these fascinating creatures are attacks, but still, they are sharks. 15 terrifying shark encounters caught on tape. <laughs> Number 15. Shark Bites Through Cage It's the great white shark's infamy that lures people around the world to don diving gear, slide into the ocean in a cage, and duck below its chum-slicked surface to get a glimpse at this apex ocean predator. Off the coast of Stewart Island in New Zealand, this cage diver was mercifully spared, becoming dinner at 18 feet the great white attacks the cage. Can you see how one side of the cage has no bars? This diver is literally trapped inside while this beast takes a bite. First started in Australia, cage diving grew up almost overnight in South Africa soon after the species was protected. Many one-time white shark hunters retired their fishing equipment in favor of diving cages, and today it's a multi-million dollar industry. But as you can see, it might be too close for comfort for this diver to be so near a hungry great white. Shark lovers, however, live to experience such close encounters. Often packaged as an adrenaline junkie's dream, most white shark cage diving encounters are life-changing. Thousands of people each year use these cages to come face to face with the ocean's ultimate predator. We still know relatively little about white sharks. However, this diver's next cage dive has bars on all sides of it. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. At this tourist attraction, the sign would probably read something like this. If you're scared of sharks, don't watch this. But how can we look away? This simulated shark mouth is giant, and it looks as if there's a small occupied rowboat in it. But is there actually a real shark in the ocean that a human could row a small boat onto? No, there is not as far as we know, but there used to be. The Meg, officially called a megalodon, it was not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish ever to exist. Estimates suggest it grew up to 60 feet in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. To tackle prey as large as whales, the megalodon had to be able to open its mouth wide. It's estimated that its jaw would span up to 12 feet, easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. As one of the largest predators to have ever lived, the Meg captures people's imagination, and for good reason. But was this apex predator simply a beefed up great white shark? And is it still lurking in the dark depths of the ocean? Leave your thoughts in the comments with the hashtag open discussion. You wanna know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Shark Jumps Onto Boat The fishermen on board this charter boat gazed at the Atlantic shortfin mako shark in amusement as the giant sea creature darted in the air from a distance while off the coast of Massachusetts. The shortfin mako shark, also known as the blue pointer or bonito shark, can reach a size of 13 feet in length and weigh 1,200 pounds. Suddenly, one of the fishermen actually hooked the shark onto a fishing rod about 30 feet away from the boat. Within seconds, another mako shark launched onto the boat deck. It crashed directly into the men who then quickly scattered. One of the men to the left of the camera angle was able to swiftly escape, while two others got caught in the commotion. While another was able to quickly move away after being slammed by the shark, another hurried up a nearby ladder to a top deck. Fishing trip over. The company operating the boat, however, said it was a lovely day shark fishing. No one was injured, but the fish was tagged before being released. Over the last 500 years, there have been reports of nine mako shark attacks, three of which were fatal, along with 20 boat attacks. This mako is regularly blamed for attacks on humans, and due to its speed, power, and size, it's certainly capable of injuring and killing. Number 13. World's Most Vicious Shark 
Extraordinary footage has surfaced of this incredible moment. A brave fisherman in Australia came to the rescue of a dangerous shark swimming in shallow waters. In Sydney Harbour, the six-foot bull shark was caught near the water's edge. Unable to swim, the shark may have been disoriented and not have even known which way to go, but the fisherman jumped into the shallow water to help. Bull sharks are one of the most aggressive species in Sydney Harbour and grow to 12 feet long. They often dwell in very shallow waters and are one of the three shark species most likely to bite humans. That didn't stop this guy from helping. Shocked onlookers can be heard gasping in the background as the angler gets in to help the predator move to deeper water. Footage shows him casually grabbing the creature by the back fin and trying to turn it around. Come on, wrong way, he coaxes the shark. After a brief struggle, the shark swims away as the fisherman is congratulated. Well done, mate, an onlooker tells the fisherman as others cheer. The most recent fatality nationally was in Western Australia in 2021. The year before, there were three unprovoked shark fatalities here as well. Number 12. Boat Brush Two friends were out lobstering in Cape Cod Bay, a large bay of the Atlantic Ocean adjacent to the U.S. state of Massachusetts, when they captured video of this large ocean predator. The shark was seen moving its head above the water and brushing against the boat before swimming away. The most epic thing I've ever witnessed on the water, one of them shared in a post after sharing the video. We can see why. The shark and vessel were near the carcass of a humpback whale, so there were likely many sharks nearby. In the case of the great white sharks, which along with bull and tiger sharks are the largest and most dangerous species known to attack humans, there is compelling evidence from survivors of attacks suggesting the sharks may simply have been investigating what they consider to be foreign objects in the water. Shark sightings have increased in Cape waters in recent summers. Cape Cod is one of the top summer destinations for tourists, visiting the different beaches on the peninsula. However, it's also the favorite hunting ground of some of the most dangerous sharks in the world. Though the conservancy caused the abundant population a success story in conservation, the public safety concern from the growing number of sharks off the coast is undeniable. Number 11. Catching Sharks An angler saw his fishing rod snap in two in an hour-long grueling tussle as he reeled in a monster shark off the southern British coast. He was fishing alone on a 16-foot-long boat off the Isle of Wight when the huge poor beagle shark, which is related to the great white, went for his bait. The shark has many nicknames, including the bottlenose shark and blue dog. Scientists believe their main predators could be the great white shark and the orca, which means that this shark must be pretty vicious too. Poor beagle sharks are very active and have muscular bodies, giving them the endurance to seasonally migrate for feeding and reproduction. Plus, their high activity level could also be attributed to being warm-blooded. They're able to maintain a body temperature that's higher than the surrounding water. This fisherman started to reel in the seven-foot-long angry shark, but the catch was so big that it took him an hour to get it alongside his boat. Great white sharks are often reported seen in the waters off the UK coast, but it's believed most of these sightings are poor beagle sharks, which are related to the species but around half their size. However, poor beagles are still enormous beasts, reaching over 10 feet long and weighing up to 600 pounds. Number 10 shark paddleboard. This South African who runs diving and shark spotting trips off Cape Town went paddleboarding off the coast of South Africa, moving within sight of the predators in an attempt to dispel the theory that they pose a threat to humans. Are you buying it? The paddleboarder has 20 years of experience working with the animals and says it's become a passion of his to show that sharks do not regard people as normal food items. The chances of a great white shark simply rushing in and attacking a human is very remote According to experts, could you paddleboard with sharks? On top of the ultimate apex sharks, the Great White, the waters around South Africa are a real shark hotspot. Of the various species of shark found off South Africa, the majority are harmless and are rarely encountered. Only a few species have been implicated in attacks on humans. Some people have the idea that sharks will attack on sight, and that's not true at all. This shark lover's paddleboard excursion is to show people that sharks and humans can under most circumstances share the same space. The best way to change people's perceptions is to show these sharks are graceful and majestic animals. Number 9. Great White Surprises Diver 
A salvage diver's close encounter with a large great white shark went viral when it was posted on social media. As you can see, it's the most unexpected surprise encounter. The video, posted on the SA Spearfishing Facebook page, shows the diver swimming with what appears to be a handheld device. Upon turning his back, a large great white shark emerges and bumps him on the head and continues swimming. The source of the video, or where exactly it was shot, and by who, remains a mystery. However, the footage was met with immediate skepticism from commenters who questioned the video's overall authenticity and the shark's behavior. But according to shark experts, this isn't unusual for a shark that isn't feeding. It's not out of character with what a white shark may do if not in hunting mode. Plus, great white sharks are very curious and will often poke their heads out of the water or follow boats just to see what's happening. A behavior called spy hopping. They're one of the few marine fish that pay attention to what happens outside of the water. Because of this natural curiosity, great whites are known to approach divers too. It's just the shark's way of seeing what you are. Number 8. Nose Stand If you've never heard of shark flipping, more scientifically known as tonic immobility, this is the video for you. The resulting action is a power that looks almost otherworldly, with sharks as long as two people paralyzed by just a touch. So, how do researchers flip a shark, and why is it even a thing? While it may sound like a marine version of cow tipping, shark flipping is the very scientific process of rotating a shark onto its back, resulting in an almost hypnotic state. It can even render the shark completely still for up to 15 minutes. The good news? It can be done on a variety of sharks. This state of immobility is an incredible tool for scientific research. Tonic immobility is a reflex state of paralysis that exists in a variety of species, from mammals and insects to many different types of fish. Even humans have this reflex state. Sharks have a rather strong tonic immobility reflex. The state can be triggered by two actions, flipping an entire shark upside down or in some sharks massaging the front of the snout. Combined, a skilled scuba diver can grab the snout of a shark, massage it into submission allowing them to tag them, examine its body, or simply claim the insane fact that you just flipped over a 14-foot tiger shark. Number 7. Swamp Shark A shark heading the wrong way accidentally swam into a Cape Cod marsh recently, stunning scientists and witnesses. A resident captured video of the directionally challenged predator. In East Ham, Massachusetts, the local was excited to spot what appeared to be an otter flopping in the water. Nope, it was a blue shark. Though they may reach lengths of up to 12 feet, blue sharks specialize in relatively small prey, including small fish and small squid, and they undertake regular feeding dives to deeper waters likely to hunt. Blue sharks are known to be highly migratory, with individuals making several trips across entire ocean basins throughout their lifetimes. Experts believe that blue sharks use their large pectoral fins, horizontal fins growing out from either side of the body, to ride long currents conserving energy as they migrate. Blue sharks go on these long migrations to reach areas of dense food resources and to find potential mates. This blue shark was likely headed south for the winter from the Gulf of Maine when it swam inside this part of Cape Cod. Assuming the shark figured out how to finally head south, the healthy predator could be in ocean waters soon enough. Number 6. Scuba Diver Surprise Environmental management students in Bali were exploring a reef when other divers started frantically pointing. These scuba divers were left terrified after they suddenly encountered an 18-foot-long great white shark. The footage shows the dangerous predator moving slowly through the water as about a dozen divers watched on in shock. Despite its fearsome reputation, the great white then disappeared into the murky blue without incident. But this encounter is significant. Great whites have never before been seen in Indonesia as they're a cold water species. The water here is typically too warm for these sharks. What is a great white doing in Indonesian waters? Changing ocean currents could mean ocean-dwelling creatures like this were being displaced from their normal environment. Sharks are cold-blooded, but great white sharks have specialized vessels allowing them to hunt in both cold and warm water, experts have said. This allows them to lift their body temperature above that of the water around them. In warm waters like those in Indonesia, for example, their higher blood temperature can allow them to hunt warm-blooded animals more easily. While white sharks were not documented off the Indonesia coastline, their global distribution does include tropical waters. Number 5. Submarine Attack 
This ultimate behind-the-scenes video shows the terrifying moment when sharks attack a research crew as they were exploring 2,000 feet below the surface. In their deep-diving submersible, the crew was filming a group of six-gill sharks as they devoured a whale carcass that had sunk to the ocean bottom. As you can see, the pack of predators are not pleased by their uninvited dinner guests. In fact, the sharks who are already seen aggressively biting and prodding each other to claim the best bits of the decaying blubber seemingly view the submarine as additional competition for the prized meat. Unfortunately for the crew, the sharks thought the submersible was a rival and began to aggressively butt their heads against the sub's viewing window. The shark slams into the sub's window and hull while the crew members inside become increasingly anxious about its structural integrity. Due to the blows and the enormous pressure at such a depth, that's when things get scary. At one point, one of the operators says, the submarine is very strong, but they're so big and strong that I'm a little bit afraid. Thankfully for the crew, the sharks let up on their attack. Number 4. Basking Sharks Up Close Cornwall is a county on England's rugged southwestern tip. It forms a peninsula encompassing wild moorland and hundreds of sandy beaches, culminating at the land's end. The south coast, dubbed the Cornish Riviera, is home to picturesque harbor villages and the waters are swimming with this creature, at least sometimes. Basking sharks can be seen here in Cornwall's waters from April until October, with numbers peaking in the summer months. Often the best time to see them is in from mid-May to July. The earliest basking sharks arrive in Cornwall in April, just as the water temperature begins to rise. And as you can see, their mouths are huge. A human could easily swim into it. Basking sharks are the second largest fish in the ocean, growing to a maximum length of 45 feet and weight of 10,000 pounds. Basking sharks are filter feeders. They filter up to 4 million pounds of water every hour while filter feeding. They swim through the water opening their large three-foot mouth to collect plankton and long gill rakers, closing it occasionally to swallow and filter the plankton. They spend most of their time near the surface, filtering out their preferred prey, swimming with their extraordinarily large mouths wide open. Number 3. Drone Warning A drone was flying in this area of Australia's coast and caught footage of an eight-foot shark coming from the depths to stick its nose up to a surfer as he paddled. This is surfer Matt Wilkinson's recent run-in with a predator on the northern coast of New South Wales, and the surfer was visibly shaken after looking at the drone footage. Incredibly, Wilkinson has had a close encounter with a shark before. In 2015, he surfed the heat before a shark attacked another surfer in South Africa. As for this close encounter, the drone operator then warned lifeguards while using a loudspeaker on the drone to warn Wilco and other surfers to get out of the water. Wilkinson has been surfing with sharks his whole life and knows enough about them to know they don't have much interest in humans. We're just glad today the shark reconsidered at the last second. It's good to know the drones go up and down the beach and can see what we can't and it makes swimmers and surfers feel more comfortable. It makes other people aware that there are sharks out there. The drone is part of an $8 million investment by the government in patrolling beaches to assist lifeguards in protecting swimmers and surfers. Number 2. Hammerhead Headbutt One hammerhead that dwarfs all others has terrorized the Florida coastline for years, so a group of divers went to track down the monster, but he wasn't too hard to find. The big beast headbutted the diver's hand, repeatedly, and there's a reason for this. They use their hammerhead heads to detect and eat prey. Their heads are equipped with electrical receptors that can sense potential prey, including those hiding in the sand. It's been observed that they actually use their heads to ram into and pin down stingrays, forcing them into the ocean floor. This repeated action eventually tires out the prey, making it easier for the sharks to eat them. In fact, great hammerheads primarily feed on prey on the seafloor, such as stingrays, octopus and squid, crustaceans and other sharks, so it's safe to say that this head-bunning hammerhead is on the hunt. And if we were diving here, we'd probably want to head for the nearest boat. Great hammerhead sharks are apex predators and can be found worldwide in coastal, warm waters that are 68 degrees or higher. The sharks are typically solitary and migrate long distances, upward of 756 miles alone. You don't want to be in this monster's path, ever. Number 1. Cyclops Shark A shark pup with albino skin and a single eye was found by fishermen in Mexico. The fishermen caught a pregnant female dusky shark and this little one-eyed albino was removed from the womb. 
Needless to say, the fisherman was completely shocked, and after pictures and videos went viral, many people were just as stunned by the Cyclops shark. But before long, many dismissed the strange creature as a hoax. Scientists thoroughly examined the shark, confirming that it was genuine, a birth deformity as the embryo suffered cyclopia, a one-eyed condition also found in several mammals, including humans. It's a rare congenital disorder characterized by the failure of the front portion of the brain to properly divide the orbits of the eye into two cavities. This shark was also an albino, a lack of pigmentation in the eyes and skin. In examination by a biologist, the shark was declared to be very real. Unfortunately, the shark didn't survive for long outside the womb, but the fisherman has quite a tale to tell. You can imagine catching a fish with these unusual qualities it would be a catch of a lifetime. You get to be that person to brag about catching a Cyclops albino shark. Of all the shark movies ever made, there's nothing quite like the real thing. Sharks continue to fascinate and terrify us in equal measure. These videos only make us more interested. So, like and subscribe if you love sharks as much as we do.